Welcome ladies and gentlemen to your national television ORTM1. This is the time of your English program of every Saturday and Sunday. First, money news. The main topic. Prime Minister Dr. Shokal Kokala Maiga met with executive of country's senior administration, leaders of social society, umbrella organizations and trade union centers. At the center of the debate, the underlying reason for the withdrawal of IS countries from ECOWAS and the obsolescence of the agreement resulting from Algiers process. Members of the CNT meeting common tax workers, they were in Segu to inquire about the state of the company since its opening. Visitors appreciate the efforts already made and suggest possible solution to boost production. We will go to Sikasso to talk about the launch of the cash wire marketing campaign. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to ORTM News. Prime Minister Dr. Shokal Kokala Maiga met with executives of the country's senior administration, leaders of social society, umbrella organizations and trade union centers. The objective of this meeting was to explain the interlying reasons for the withdrawal of IES countries from ECOWAS and the obsolescence of the agreement resulting from Algiers process. According to some interlocutors, the IES is already doing better. It is moving towards the creation of a single currency. Suleiman Kenza Siribe and Gassou Jara for the translation. Ladies and gentlemen, ECOWAS became a threat. You know, when we decided together to leave ECOWAS, we have got some information when they wanted to attack Niger. In fact, Niger is an African country. Some African forces of ECOWAS have been prepared to attack Niger. ECOWAS is an organization that is ruled by the three countries. We understood that Mali played a key role in this organization. When Niger fell down after that, Burkina Faso will f fall down. Again, Mali also will fall down. I think that it will be impossible to do this because time has changed. Some Malian leaders, some leaders of Burkina Faso and some leaders of Niger, the old leaders of Alien style of state gets a military organization which makes the stability and security of the uh, three countries. It is uh, unacceptable for us to fall down one of these uh, three countries. Uh, when you try to fall down Niger, together we will stand up to prevent you from doing it. Today our people uh, get together because uh, they are the same destiny. People make already progress. Ladies and gentlemen, his Excellency Colonel Asimu Guetta from Mali, His Excellency Captain Ibrahim Traoré from Burkina Faso, His Excellency Abdraman Chani from Niger, the all of them have been on the battlefield. Therefore, they have seen so much. In this case, they know how to do to stop violence and insecurity in our three countries in order to bring peace and security in our three countries. Members of a Commission on Finance, Economy, Planning, Promotion of the Private Sector and Industry of CNT were this week at Comatex to inquire about the state of the company since its pre-launch about a year ago. At the end of the discussions, the visitors appreciated the efforts made and proposed a possible solution to boost production and profitability at Comatex. Detail of this visit with Ramata Konate and Gasu Jara for the translation. The High Council of Transition paid a visit to Comatex 
warehouse of cotton and the production process have been visited by the High Council of Transition. Uh, the High Council of Transition visited Comatex Malian Company of Textile. In fact, the delegation of the High Council of Transition has met the responsibles of Malian Company of Textile in order to make some reflection about the development of Malian Company of Textile. For the High Council of Transition, it was necessary to pay a visit to Comatex. They find that Malian Company of Textile is a big company which contributes to the development of Segu. In this case, the Malian Company of Textile should be supported by the authorities of transition in order to strengthen Malian economy and also to create jobs for the population. The Commission of Finance of the High Council of Transition made some recommendations. The general direction of Comatex and the delegation of the High Council of Transition brought together to think about the progress of Malian Company of Textile. This visit to Comatex was an opportunity for the delegation of the High Council of Transition to express the feelings of motivation, help and encouragement to support Malian Company of Textile. Again, they were very happy to talk about the vision and also the support. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Ablai Job, hosted a press conference in Moscow. Let's see his response with Angel Dambele. Answer your questions. I must say that I'm not going to comment on a decision which was taken by an organization to which Mali does not belong. You knew last month that Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger officially contacted ECOWAS for a decree that they withdrew from this organization. This decision has been made after some analysis. I would like to remind you that Mali is the founding country of this organization, but we have seen that this organization has become a tool for some powers which seek to create disorder in our region and use our institutions to create create problems in our country because the organization put on the table a threat of military aggression against one of its member states at a time when our organization had a significant agreement, non-aggression between us. Malia has been sanctioned about eight months. Our banking institutions were used, our funds were under control at these banks. Niger experienced the same situation. Mali has spoken out against the fact that our institutions become weapons against ourselves. Our population constitutes a threat in relation to this. We are not going to continue just to denounce. We decided to provide a geopolitical response by joining forces with other countries which went through the same situations in order to join the force so that to protect us from interference. <laughs> Cashew nuts are one of the main agricultural export products in Mali. Sikasso hosted the launching of its trading campaign this week. Angel Dambele for more details. With an annual production of around 850,000 tons, anacard is one of Mali's main agricultural export products. Its selling brand occupies an important place in the income of the rural world. The launch of the marketing campaign for the anacard sector will help increase farmers' income, but also increase trade between our country and all over the world. The launch of this marketing campaign was an opportunity for anacard office responsible to present their trophy to the minister. Given to our country by the African Cashew Agency, Mali was also chosen to organize the African Cashew Meeting scheduled for 2025. On Friday, the 23rd of February, the NGO Ahmed and its partners have launched the third phase of the project Agroecological Intensification and Sustainable Management of Species and Natural Resources in Mali and Burkina Faso. 
The project launch ceremony took place at the at quarter of the NGO Ahmed in the presence of all project stakeholders. This project is called Peasant Knowledge Number no. 3 must contribute to improve food and nutritional security. It must also help to protect the population's living environment. Report Brema Kone since Kuchala. The further phase of the project, agroecological intensification and sustainable management of species and natural resources in Mali and Burkina Faso has been launched by the NGO Ahmed and its partners. The project launch ceremony took place at the headquarters of the NGO Ahmed in the presence of all project stakeholders. This project called Peasant Knowledge Number no. 3 must contribute to improve food and nutritional security. It must also help to protect the living environment of the populations. The goal we want to achieve is uh, to find some adaptive technologies in the context of climate change and variabilities in Sahel zones. That is the, the, the big challenge for, for us. And uh, also uh, to promote farmers' knowledge. We are working in some areas, and in this, those areas, there are farmers who have the technologies. How to uh, identify those technologies and make sure that we can provide uh, uh, at the scale of the state uh, in Mali and Burkina Faso the good option for agriculture intensification. We are working in um, collaboration ship with uh, IMSP, Farmers' Organization in Burkina Faso. And um, uh, we have three years uh, project implementation. And f through this uh, project implementation, we will help um, national uh, government to uh, deal with uh, climate change technologies. The launch ceremony of the project Peasant Knowledge Number no. 3 was a framework for exchanges with all project stakeholders about the project execution plan. Through these discussions, they analyzed the result of the phase two of the project. They also validated the project areas of intervention and carry out a clear distribution of roles and responsibilities of project stakeholders. AMSP workers from Burkina Faso attended the project launch ceremony by video conference. For us, uh, this project have to be a joint project in this context of climate uh, and change and variabilities. And if we, we farmers, identify uh, through this project uh, different options for the different ecologies and to make sure the national programs integrate those options and technologies. And we, we here call um, joint effort of different stakeholders for uh, uh, agriculture intensification in Mali and Burkina Faso. The project based on knowledge number three is financed by Mike Knight Foundation and implemented in Mali by the NGO Ahmed and in Burkina Faso by AMSP. AM the second edition of a symposium on English language teaching and literature studies Reforming and Reforming English Language Teaching and Learning was held this Wednesday in the University of Kabbalah. During two days, researchers are sharing experiences on how to take advantage of digital tools to improve teaching methods. Angel Damele for more details. Teachers in the English department shared ideas on how to reform and reform the teaching and learning of English for the second meetings. Lecturer force focus on the new technology devices so that they become an asset and not an obstacle for the students. The symposium was organized by our English community. We call it CEL in short. And uh, the purpose is to foster closer relationship between language teachers because we understand when you are engaged in research you need to work in uh, close step 
we are the researchers. In this way, you can have uh, the opportunity to expand your own boundaries. Because now research is not just uh, based on one discipline. Now research is based only on many disciplines. So if you are doing linguistics or you are doing language per se, you have to get into touch with other specialists uh, so that you come up with something that will be very meaningful. That is why we have decided to set up this uh, community we call CELL, and this is the second edition of our uh, community. This year, uh, this symposium is actually uh, an occasion for us researchers, teachers, and learners also of English to meet and exchange our different ideas. This is the second edition of the symposium. Last year, it was about uh, a disciplinary debate and language teaching perspective. And this year, we have taught about uh, reframing English language teaching and learning. So this year, we have uh, taught that it is important to think about how English can be, uh, you know, taught in a country like Mali. So that's why we, are, we, we taught about uh, including some uh, you know, some ways of teaching like uh, digitalization and, uh, and technology, how technology can be used in nowadays to teach English and to learn English in a country like Mali, where we know that English is not taught as a second language but as a third language. In addition to that, this year we will have also debates and exchange about some concepts like uh, uh, Africana or Afrocentric city. The expectations of the participants in this meeting are most. From last year, at the end of uh, our meeting, we agreed that uh, it is important that as researchers that we continue uh, doing research about how English language can be improved. And that's why I said that this year we thought about including digitalization and technology, how technology can be used to enhance uh, English language teaching. As you heard from the speech given by Professor Gay, he has talked about how technology can be uh, used to reinforce and foster English language teaching. But he have also called people to pay attention to how technology is used, because technology can be a very useful device, but it can be also very dangerous. So that's why this year we are going to discuss of all these perspectives and all these ways how technology can be used in our today very fast-moving uh, uh, you know, uh, environment that we, we are living it. The meeting on the teaching and study of the English language was concluded on February 1929 with suggestions for a bright future for students in the English department. It lasted two days ago. Saturday, February 24th, 2024 was the English Club Cultural Day at Meluit Logement Socio in Bamako Rimajo. A ceremony which was rich in emotion and learning. A report by Ramata Ali Gise. Follow. The objective of this English Club Cultural Day was to promote cultural diversity and encourage members to practice English. Uh, the objectives of this event uh, are just uh, to make English known and to let people also know about the activities of the different English clubs while discovering different cultures. These included presentations, workshops, game, and activities related to English language and culture. The English Club aims to create a fun and interactive learning environment where members can expand their knowledge and understanding of the world around them. It was a great opportunity to meet new people and share cultural experience. According to Mr. Bengali and the director of English Club, English is a language that really deserves to be learned in today's world where we live. So Mali English Club is a learning. Uh, since the creation every year, we organize uh, a cultural day to expose our different activities so that people could know what we are doing inside this beautiful club. That's why we organize this event and to share all activities we are doing so, so that to impress people, to invite many people and encourage many people to join myself through those activities. Uh, so today uh, we are here um, for our cultural day in which we will permit uh, people to know our club and, so, and, and also uh, showing in the, in the parents how English is important and say each Sunday uh, your son or your daughter is coming in club uh, to improve himself or himself in English is not just he live uh, or she live home and come in club to play no 
uh, she came in club or she came in club for something which is very important, practice English. The English club ceremony was a true spectacle of talent and passion. The choreography and taekwondo displayed the spectators, leaving a lasting impression. This event added a dose of energy and dynamism, creating an electric atmosphere. Participants demonstrated their dedication and commitment to the English club. The ceremony ended with the presentation of certificate to the participating children. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all for today. We'll be together next Saturday and Sunday, same time, same channel. But stay with us for a lesson, a lesson prepared and presented by our teacher, Amadou Bale. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome in your English class. Aujourd'hui, nous allons étudier notre cinquième sens, which is the touch, T. O U C H. Nous avions parlé de nos cinq sens. We spoke about the eyes, we spoke about the nose, we spoke about the mouth, we spoke about the ears, and today we're doing the touch. T O U C H. C'est tout à fait normal. Lorsque nous parlons de touch, nous parlons de quoi? To feel. To feel. For instance, when you touch ice, lorsque vous touchez de la glace, it is cold. When you touch fire, fire is hot. Then, when you talk about touch, you're talking about temperature. Nous parlons de température lorsque nous parlons de touch. Le toucher. Pas seulement cela. You also talk about the shape and the form. Lorsque dans l'obscurité, vous touchez à un téléphone ou à un ballon, vous pourrez détecter l'appareil. You will know if it's a téléphone à travers the shape and the form, or you will know it's, if it's the ball. Touch. Nous avons aussi ce qu'on appelle Touch up and touch down. Touch up, c'est le petit détail. Touch down, c'est l'atterrissage. We can say the plane has just touched down. L'avion vient d'atterrir. The plane has just touched down. Touch down. Nous avons aussi ce qu'on appelle a touchy person. A touchy person, ça ce sont des personnes qui aiment vous toucher lorsqu'ils vous parlent. Là, hey, don't touch me, man. Come on, don't touch me. A touchy person. My brother does not like touchy persons. Mon frère n'aime pas les personnes qui vous touchent lorsque il vous parle. Nous avons aussi des mots comme to keep in touch. Keep in touch, ça veut dire garder le contact. Let's keep in touch because I have a very good business for you. Keep in touch. We also got words like someone who is completely out of touch. Par exemple, quelqu'un qui est hors sujet. Out of touch. He is always completely out of touch. Il est toujours hors sujet. Completely out of touch. Touch est aussi sensitif. Par exemple, lorsque nous disons a touch of sadness. A touch of sadness. Ça, c'est une point de tristesse. A touch of sadness. Nous avons aussi d'expressions like um, to be touched by someone or to be touched by something. Je peux dire, for instance, we are touched by their kindness. Nous sommes touchés par leur gentillesse. We are touched by their kindness. We can also talk about the final touches. The final touches, ça, ce sont les dernières touches et retouches. The final touches, to put a final touch on something is to add a little bit more salt. We can talk about something that can work at a touch of the button. Parce que vous appuyez le bouton, ça marche. Or a touch of color. A touch of color. Comme vous voyez, touch vous met en contact direct avec votre environnement extérieur et ça fait partie de l'un de nos cinq sens. The eyes, comme nous l'avions dit avec si, uh, avec look up, look down, watch, etc. We also spoke about the nose, we breathe, smell, etc. We spoke about the mouth, of course, talk, speak, etc. The ears, ear, the touch, touch, feel. C'était donc là, English outside in, qui vous met en contact direct avec votre environnement extérieur. Et comme je l'avais bien précisé, you cannot speak English if you cannot communicate your outside environment. I mean, linguistically. Votre environnement extérieur, linguistique. You need to be in touch with your five senses. Eyes, nose, mouth, ears. 
and the touch. Donc, ce que vous devrez retenir lorsqu'il s'agit de touch, T-O-U-C-H, c'est quoi? C'est feel. When you feel, you feel temperature. Nous parlons aussi de temperature. Hot, cold. Nous parlons aussi de quoi? De sensitive issues. We also talk about touch-ups and touch-downs. You know, we can say it's cold. Ooh, your body feels cold. Or it's hot. We all talking about touches in here. You can also talk about the shape and the form of something, even if you don't see that thing. Même si vous ne voyez pas la chose, dans l'obscurité, once you touch it by the shape and the form, so touch puts you in contact with the elements and then you can feel it. Touch. Make a note of it. Merci d'avoir été avec nous tout le long du cours. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye. English outside in. We'll be together, same time, same channel, or time one. May God bless Mali. Goodbye.